Hello and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you how you can create your own custom palettes. And the best way to start is by going to Window Customization Command Manager. Because in here you have everything that you need to create your own custom palettes. The first thing you can do is you can tick Edit Palettes. And this will bring up all of these lines that show you that you can now drag and drop buttons from one place to another and also that you can add new commands and I want to show you how you can create a new palette so let's click the new palette button here we have it and we're gonna make it a little bit wider and now we need to populate this new palette with buttons and I want to place this palette later here in the object manager so we are going to add some commands that make sense here so the first one that I want to add is reset transform. I love this command. This is actually one of my favorite commands. So I'm gonna add it. The next one that I want to add is scroll to selection. Also very helpful. And I'm gonna drag and drop it right next to reset transform. And now I want to add a few more buttons, but I want to add these from the menu. So let's go to, let's say tools, axis, and we want to add some of these commands here. In order to do that, we need to undock this menu here to be a palette. And we can do that by clicking this little area here with the dotted lines, like so. And now we have it as a palette and we can drag and drop commands from here into the new palette. If we don't want one of these buttons, if we just dragged and dropped one in by accident, we can simply double click it to get rid of it. And now let's also add reset scale, like so. And now we have these five icons here in a row. We can close that one. And I want to add some separators to clean this up a little bit. Separators can be found here on the right side of the command manager. And the first one is the smallest one. It's the icon separator. And you can simply drag and drop it from the command manager into your palette. And this will create a little separator. Then we can add a group separator between these two. And the last one, the fill space, to this one, to this gap here. And then you can see that the fill space is a little bit special because it allows you to align buttons to the right as well. And also, if you have a look at this palette, you can align buttons to the center of a palette. All right, now let's untick Edit Palettes and let's add this to the Object Manager. And you can do that by clicking and dragging this dotted line here again and then you can see that wherever we have it, this little highlight is appearing. And this is where we're going to have our menu once we release the mouse. We're going to do that right here because this is where I want to place it. And I'm going to right click, go down to icon size and make these icons a little bit smaller. Let's say medium icons like so. Cool, I'm happy with that. And the next things I want to add here are some buttons for particles. I want to have particles in my create palette and I want to add them right here. And I also want to add the forces and I want to add them as a menu that you can unfold like the deformers menu, for example. So let me do this. We go to the simulate menu and then to forces. And we're gonna undock this from the menu and now what we can do is we can right click and then we go down to fold palette. And this is exactly what we need to create a button like this. So now we can click and drag and this will bring up all of the other forces as well. Now let's get rid of the text. We can do that by right clicking it and then we go down to show and untick text. Now we only have a button. And in order to add our new button to this palette, we need to enable edit palettes mode again, and then we can drag and drop it right here, like beneath the fields. Cool. Let's also add a little group separator to separate this icon from the scene objects. And now I'm also going to add an emitter. Let's search for it here and then drag and drop it here. Cool. The last thing we do is we end edit palettes mode and close all of the windows that we don't need anymore. Now, one thing that is important, if you want to reuse this layout, and of course you would like to do that because otherwise it wouldn't be worth the efforts, you go to Window, Customization, 
and then you save the layout, either with save a startup layout or save layout as, which will allow you to just save it with a name that you can define. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.